Hello out there, and I'm sure with what's in front of you, you can guess what today's video is going to be all about. That's right, it is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian, and today's video is going to serve a number of purposes. First, it's going to be part one of a complete collection update. It's been a long time since I've done something like that, and so today we're going to get it going with the Mini Griptilian, because why not? Also, uh, this is going to be a video in response to one from my buddy Average Bros. Average Bros, a couple weeks ago, did a, uh, a video about his Mini Griptilian collection, called it the Mini Grip Challenge, where he showed off some of like the, the pimped out aftermarket scales that he has and some of the like upgrades that can be done to the Mini Griptilian. And I definitely wanted to throw my name into the hat with that and respond to his video. And I'll link to that one down below. Definitely check him out, actually, if you're into watches and EDC gear. Really good channel. But third, and, and the most important on a personal level, is that I have reached the goal that I set out to achieve uh, when I started collecting Mini Griptilians. I have gotten one in every steel, all 10 steels that it's ever been made in. And so today, just updating the collection, going to go through all that, going to reset a new objective for the Mini Griptilian collection and and sort of uh, name some things that I want to still go after. And yeah, it's going to be fun. So we're going to go through everything. We're going to go left to right. So here's the stuff on the right, just so you can see it real quick. We're going to slide over. And we're going to start with the stuff that is like not really modified from factory much at all. And yeah, starting with this one right here, this is 154 cm. 154 cm for uh, for those of you who aren't aware is probably the most common steel that this knife has ever been in. It originated in 440 c, but um, 154 cm is easily the most common one out there, I'd say, and uh, readily available now. Especially since it's discontinued, I'm sure 154 cm is a lot cheaper than it's ever been. But this one for me is special. One, I really like the steel. I've never had an issue with it at all. Didn't see any need for them to upgrade it, to be honest, but but more importantly than that, this is my first ever Benchmade. My first ever Mini Grip, but yeah, my first Benchmade overall. So I really dig the light blue color. I like the 556 design, uh, probably a little bit more than the 555, which has that like a sheep's foot blade and the spider hole. The 556 for me is just what it's all about. This one is pretty much standard. You know, this is the clip that it came with, the painted clip that does show a lot of wear, but no real worries with that. So yeah, just a great blade. And yeah, not, not ready to be done talking about it quite yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if I had to get rid of all of them, believe it or not, I mean, this one has such a sentimental kind of value to me because of what it started in my collection that I would be able to get rid of all the other ones before I would get rid of this. Odd but true. Next is uh, D2. So this Mini Griptilian in D2, another 556. Uh, this is blacked out. This is a limited run, I think, or maybe it was exclusive to somewhere. Uh, it's not numbered, but D2 is is not really a rare steel at all to find in the Mini Griptilians. There were a number of, of exclusive runs and limited runs that are floating around out there. So it is also, I think, still available on the custom shop. And this is D2 from before D2 was commonplace. I mean, D2 was a uh, a much in-demand kind of steel when uh, when they were producing it. And they execute it really well. I mean, this knife has probably been used more than any of my other mini grips. Uh, one of my favorite users for a long time. And yeah, for that reason, I mean, it does sort of have a special place for me just because of the amount of, of wear that I personally have put on it. Also has that same painted clip. Also see a little bit of wear there. This one has gone back to Life Sharp a couple times. It's also gone to um, my personal Life Sharp, <laughs> Jeff Jewell, who has done a masterful job with this knife and a lot of the other ones that are in front of you. So next is CPM M4. And M4 is an interesting one because in the Mini Griptilian world, you can find it in a number of different models. Uh, there's a gold class that has M4. There is a limited run, a numbered limited run from Benchmade that has M4. But this one uh, is from the custom shop. And so that's where it's most easily available. And that's where this one came from. A couple things of note about this knife. 
Um, it is another 556, but it does have a limited edition set of scales on it. So this color scale, this like deep red, was only available on the custom shop for a, uh, a short amount of time. And I don't think it's there anymore. So that does make it stand out, does make it a little bit more unique. Um, it does have this deep carry pocket clip, which I really like. But as you can see from like the other ones, it it's not that big of a thing that I want to get a deep carry clip on everything. I really like the, the standard clips as well. So yeah, M4 available and, and you're able to find it in a number of different mini grips, but the easiest one, like I said, would be to do something like this. Now the next one is my only gold class knife that I own. And this is yet another 556. And this one is in S90V blade steel. This is number 63 out of a run of 150. And this is the only mini griptilian variation that was created in S90V. It's possible they'll do another one. I don't see why they wouldn't at some point, but for now, yeah, it's just this. This one, it's just a beauty. I mean, it's special for a number of reasons. Uh, the titanium frame here is just like wonderfully, I guess, decorated. Just <laughs> the cracked ice kind of look is just very attractive. The, the gold standoffs and the gold thumb studs just really pop. It's just a great looking piece. Uh, the decision to do the split arrow clip is an interesting one. Um, I'm not changing it because I, I want to keep it stock. But yeah, there are some more limited editions and other gold classes that are titanium nowadays, but this is the only one that came in S90V. One thing of note about this one is that there is a slightly rounded spine that the other 556s don't have. And some knives have like a really, you can tell just by looking at it how round it is. And this one is a little more subtle. I just really like the look of it and uh, the feel of it when you have it in hand. So really neat piece there. And the next one, as boring as it might look, is arguably the rarest one that I have. It's the first 555 that we're talking about. And what's special about it is that it is in N680 steel. And I made a video about this when I got it with the help of my buddy Zach a couple months ago from uh, Zach's stuff. Uh, this one has just the standard Benchmade clip, but it's uh, the Parkerized, not the uh, painted. So I really do like this clip. It's in purple, which is my favorite color. And yeah, this one, well, let's just talk about N680. So N680 is a steel that Benchmade has used for a long time. Uh, it's been on a number of their models. I think the Triage used it. Um, they did have a full-size griptilian that was actually in production, I think, with N680, but never a mini griptilian. So the only way to get a mini griptilian with N680 steel was through the custom shop, and nobody ever did it. And I never rushed to pick up an N680 from the custom shop because it's not this exotic steel that I had to have immediately. You know, it, it just didn't have a huge draw, and it was on the list, but it wasn't at the top of the list. And then they stopped offering it. And I talked to the lady at Blade Show 2018 about N680, and she said she said the number five. She said five people had gotten it, and it might have just been, you know, an embellishment, and she might have just been, you know, using an expression. But the number of people who actually bought a mini griptilian from the custom shop in this steel, it's very, very limited because it just isn't a very sought-after steel. So... I was fortunate enough to uh, to get connected to the right people who could make it happen for me after it was discontinued, and I chose the 555 blade just because if you look at all the limited editions and all of the rare Benchmade Mini Griptilians that come out, they're always in the 556 configuration. They haven't done any limited editions in the 555, so I thought the rarest one it would be really neat if I got it in the 555 blade. So that's what I did there. The next one is also a 555 the 555-1. Uh, this is a first production in 20 CV. So there is another 20 CV steel mini grip now. It is that limited edition one, the titanium one from a couple years ago that they called the Grip A Million. Really cool knife that one is. I don't have one yet. <laughs> but 20 CV steel is represented here. This is an excellent one, guys. Uh, the first time that they did G10. Uh, beautiful set of scales. I really like the gray with the, the blue liners. 
and it's not really a liner it's just a uh, more g10 so it's like one piece of g10 in two different colors great standoffs on this knife so this one comes with the deep carry clip i think this was the debut of the deep carry of this deep carry clip don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure it was so yeah just a uh an excellent decision and and move by Benchmade to uh, to bring this model into you know a more current quality of steel and and handle material. So can't really complain about how good this knife is. All right, so let's slide over and take a look at the last few. So these are the ones that are a little bit different from factory, a little bit more unique. And we're going to start with this. This is probably the least. <laughs> exotic steel in the bunch 440c but you can see we've got a classic benchmade logo and this is what makes this one special it says safety blade for display purposes only so this is from a, a dealer display and it came with the clear scales which we'll get to in a minute so for display purposes only, it was originally not sharp, and I got someone to sharpen it for me and made it functional. And guys, you can talk about steel as much as you want, and obviously, I'm trying to collect this uh, in every steel imaginable, so uh, I get it. I mean, I, I fall into the trap too, but when it comes down to it for EDC purposes, this knife and this steel has been beyond excellent. So, yeah, you can talk about your M390s and M4s and S whatever. But 440C for me, for EDC tasks, I don't need anything more than this blade. Um, I've polished all the hardware on this knife just to make it pop a little bit more. Uh, the clip as well. So I really like this one. And I think in the past six months to a year, this is the one that I've used the most. So yeah, I really do, really do enjoy carrying this knife. One that I really don't ever carry <laughs> is this one right here. And this is the first of two in S30V. So this one is a 555 in S30V. Talking about the blade first, this was, uh, I think, from the custom shop. And it was a black coated blade. And I removed the coating, acid etched it, did a few other like mod designs. Sort of used it as a guinea pig to try some techniques out. So it's certainly not perfect uh, with like the, the teeth that I etched in and then the other pattern on top. But... Um, it works. I think it's it's sort of cool, but it's definitely like I said not a uh, not a showpiece by any means. What is unique about it is this set of scales that that 440C blade was on. So taking a look at it, the clear scales. The purpose of them is as a dealer, you know, you can show people how the Omega Springs work and how you know the the lock actuates. And this is from back when it was a new locking system and not really familiar to people. You know, trying to buy an EDC kind of knife. The problem with these scales, as you might already be able to see, is that they're flimsy. They're not meant to be carried, and so they crack. They crack especially around the pivot. This is the second set of them that I've had, and this one looks a lot better than my other set. But um, if you can find a set of these scales that is in mint condition, then you're sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> um, what I have on this knife... The, the further work that's been done, I have titanium blue hardware from Blades We Love. And then, um, I'm not sure, I think I stone washed this clip. So I think this was like full black painted. I'm not 100% sure though, it's been a while. So this is an S30V before they made the, the upgrade to S30V for the whole line. So this is a hollow ground blade in S30V, just like the, uh, the other 555s back here. This 555, though, is the new version. So it's the standard 555 blade S30V, which is what the base model is nowadays, and this is flat ground. Um, what's different about this one, though, is I threw this blade in a set of flytanium titanium scales, and I put on a, um, a Casey Lynch deep carry Benchmade clip. What's interesting about it, if you look at the hardware, you know, you look at the, the standoffs that came with the flytanium scales, they perfectly match the Lynch clip. There has to be some kind of like collusion there, I think. <laughs> because when I saw the clip after getting the scales, I mean, I knew it was a match made in heaven. And what I like about this is 
you know, it is a little bit beefier, a little bit thicker. It feels different. It's a lot heavier than a regular mini griptilian. And so it's a knife that I can carry when I want to carry a mini griptilian, but I don't want to carry a mini griptilian, if that makes sense. So it still feels like one, but it's just different enough to, to give it its own, like, unique sense of flair. Um, one negative, though, if you look, take a look at this clip, it is thick. It makes the knife overall just a a lot thicker than I think it needs to be. So definitely be aware of that if you pick up one of these clips, especially if you're going to add it to um, this flytanium set of scales that swells at the butt like this. So yeah, overall though, really neat knife. All right, three more. The next two are an M390. So this one is an actual Benchmade produced limited edition in M390. This is number 146 out of 200. This one came with just a regular black set of like standard scales. And, you know, that just wasn't going to work for me. This is a, a, a pretty, pretty hard to come by limited edition nowadays. And I wanted to put it on something special. And so I got another set of these G10 scales. And I dyed them. So Rit dyed them purple. Again, gave it just a little bit more... Uh, unique of a quality I guess to it. It also made the blue just a little bit darker which I really really like. And then I have a Benchmade USA clip, my favorite clip on planet earth right here. And um, yeah, this one I haven't had for very long and I really really like carrying and using this one. Next is another one in M390, and it is the first of two Ritter grip, Mini Griptilians that I have. Um, this Mini Griptilian has the nicest finish of any of them in the entire collection. It's just gorgeous, just a beautiful stone wash. And this one I think originally came with the black scales. It has the, the same kind of like polished clip that the 440C one does. But the scales are what make this one special. These are death of all things scales. Death of all things is, he's basically the be all end all of custom mini griptilian scales. I'll say that. I mean, he takes orders. He'll do any kind of material that he can get his hands on. It might cost a little bit extra, but I mean, if you want a piece that's exactly the way you want it to be at excellent, excellent quality, name your color, name your material, you can do it. Uh, I wanted carbon fiber with purple G10, uh, basically lining it, and that's what I got. And it's a beautiful piece of carbon fiber. It's a matte finish, but it's not slick. I mean, it is just like, it is on point. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, the, the purple gives it that little pop that I really wanted. I'd seen him do this exact thing with blue instead of the purple, and I said, that's what I want, but I want my color. And yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. And it made the knife super smooth too. As far as mini griptilians go, regardless of anything else that you see here, like this one might be the best looking one that I have and one of the best looking ones that I've ever seen, in my opinion. Last but not least in my collection, another very difficult steel to come by. This is another mini Ritter grip, and this one is an M2 HS. And HS stands for high speed, so it's really just M2 steel, which was used for a while, years and years ago, for a number of different models, but not anymore. And so this one was very hard to come by. I found it on eBay, and it's number 90, which is the same number that I get with the Spydercos that I get, so I knew this one had to get my, excuse me, I knew this one had to be mine. <laughs> Um, I don't know how many was in this run. I think it was 250 or maybe 200. Not that big of a run, but they are very hard to come by now. You can see there is some wear on this blade, but um, a lot of them that I've seen for sale have been a lot worse off than this. So um, I got really lucky in finding it. This one came with these Wilkins scales on it, which I always wanted to try and I'm really into. The G10 is really nice and grippy. Uh, this like divot pattern really helps with texture and and I didn't like the look of them just in pictures um, for a while but 
now that I have it, yeah, it just it just works. So I'm very happy with these scales. I'm definitely not going to be swapping them out. It has an aluminum backspacer and the raised aspect of it is interesting, but it's not really a deterrent for some reason. Like I thought it might be, but yeah, this this whole package just works the way that it is. Um, it did have a standard clip on it, and I couldn't work with that. <laughs> so my buddy Zach, again, Zach Stuff, sent me a, uh, a deep carry bug out clip, and this is perfect. If you take a look at these Wilkin scales and where the holes are for the clip, and let me just bring in a standard one real quick. Um, where the holes are for the clip, uh, there is just that extra real estate going up that you really do need a deep carry clip on, uh, on these scales if you're going to get it. So definitely be aware of that. But that's everything, guys. So if we're going left or right, just a recap. 154CM, D2, M4, S90V, N680, 20CV, 440C, S30V, M390, M2HS. So those are all the steels that it's ever been produced in, at least to my knowledge. I don't think there's anything else, and I've done a lot of research. <laughs> so where do I go from here? I mean, I'm not done. I can't be done, right? So there's a lot of stuff left that I would like to get. I'd really like to get a first production in 440C. Um, I'd really like to get the, the oval hole for the 555. I don't have any of those. They did make a few 154CM uh, mini griptilians with the oval hole before it swapped to the circular one. So I'd like one of those. There are some more limited editions, actual limited editions that I'd like to get my hands on. The actual M4 limited edition and the um, the M4 uh, Ritter Griptilian. There is an M4 Ritter one that is very, very hard to come by as well. Almost as hard to come by as this one was. So, yeah, got my eyes set on one of those one day. There's an S30V Ritter, which I'd like to get, that 20CV limited edition. So, I mean, as you hear all this, you can tell. I mean, I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep pushing it and, and get the most comprehensive mini griptilian collection that's out there. Um, I might be pretty close already, but, uh, but yeah, I want to keep going with it because this is a platform that I just like that much. So anyway, guys, that's it. That is part one of the collection. That is my response to Average Bros, and that is showing off every steel that it's ever been made in. Any questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, guys, you know where to reach me. Let me know what you think, and I will talk with you soon. Thanks very much for watching, and take care. Have a good one.